us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So this is the second episode in this series of episodes where we are focusing on the 2020 internal science paper 2 which is chemistry. So let us look at question B1 from section B where expected to answer all the questions and this section carries 45 marks. B1 start figure B1.1 and D table B1.1 below and answer the questions that follow. So we have figure B1.1 which shows changes of states of matter. So we have process A, process B and D, process C, C. Then table B1.1 shows common substances where we have substance C, aluminum oxide, ammonium chloride, calcium hydroxide, then we have copper sulfate, then we have iodine crystals, then we have water. So let us look at the questions. Identify process A in figure B 1.1. Then Loma numeral 2 of A from table B 1.1 identify two substances that can undergo process A. Then B state whether process B and C are endothermic or exothermic explain your answer. So let us go to the figure and identify the processes. So if you look at process A, it's a change of state from, if you look at this one critically, you will notice that this is solid because of the proper pattern. Then this is a liquid because particles are not arranged in a clear pattern. Then this is gas. So now having identified the state of these substances, then it will be easier for us to identify the process. So if you look at A, it's a change of state from solid to gas. Why is this solid? You've seen these patterns. These patterns, they have a standard pattern. This one, there is no regular pattern, but they are closely spaced meaning they are liquid so process a which is the change of state from direct from solid to gas this process is known as sublimation so remember sublimation is the direct change of state from a solid to a gas only eating when you eat that substance that's the sublimation process. So now we are changing from solid to gas dialect, hence it's called the sublimation. Then if you look at B, it's from liquid to gas. Liquid to gas. So this process should be evaporation. So process B should be evaporation. Then what should be C? condensation or freezing. Then the next thing that you need to take note, which is very important, is for you to know which substances undergo sublimation. So we have iodine, ammonium chloride, in this case, this is ammonium chloride, this is sublimes. Then we have iodine here, which is iodine crystals, also sublimes, among the four. Then we have ammonium sulfate which also sublimes in this case we don't have ammonium sulfate then we have carbon dioxide also known as the dry gas so those are the four substances that is sublime iodine ammonium chloride ammonium sulfate carbon dioxide so now if you look at the question the question is asking us identify process a so process a we said it's a sublimation Then from the table, identify two substances that undergo process A, which we've talked about to be sublimation. So these are iodine, crystals, and ammonium chloride. Then question B, state whether process B and C are 
endothermic or exothermic explain your answer so like we've said we need to identify what b is which we did and what c is so if you look at b b we are saying it's in evaporation so because it's evaporation this will be endothermic reaction because heat energy is absorbed to break the bonds the bonds of water so for water to evaporate you need to break these bonds which is in the liquid form to evaporate them into gaseous state so this one is endothermic then process C we said it is in condensation or freezing so this is exothermic because heat energy is released when building the bonds of the solid so this is exothermic so those are the explanation that you need to give so just to put it lighting B is in the thermic reaction because heat energy is absorbed to break the bonds in liquid particles then C is exothermic reaction because heat energy is released when the solid bonds are solid bonds are building so this is how you answer this question to get the five marks in the form thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question b2 in detail